Hey everybody, Carolyn Crow here. Tonight I'm gonna cook up an oven fried chicken dinner for my family with a nice big lemon parmesan salad. It's something that the whole family enjoys and it comes together in less than half an hour. I think you're really gonna enjoy it too. So let's get started. First things first when you start the chicken is you wanna get your breading station set up. In my first dish, I'm supposed to have buttermilk, but I don't have any buttermilk in my house today. So instead, I'm going to add a little white vinegar to regular milk. Do about a teaspoon of vinegar. You can see the milk is already thickening up. When you do your buttermilk this way, it's called clabbered milk. Whether you're using clabbered milk or buttermilk, the acidity is going to help tenderize the chicken. And we like the chicken to be tender. Uh -huh. So we'll just wait for that to thicken up for one more minute while I get the breading ready. This is a little bit more than one cup of panko breadcrumbs. And to that I will add two teaspoons of Old Bay. You can just use whatever seasoning blend you like, but this is how we do it in Maryland probably about half a teaspoon of pepper. And the last thing I'm gonna add to the breading is a little olive oil. Two tablespoons of olive oil. So since we're trying to kind of emulate the effect of a deep fryer, we're just adding the oil directly to the breading instead of uh, cooking it in fat. This way you use a lot less fat. Hello! Gonna give my baking rack that I have set over my baking sheet a little bit of a spray. So I'm ready to get breading, ready for breading. My thin cut chicken breasts here, I actually really prefer this recipe with chicken tenders, but they didn't have any chicken tenders at my store today, so thin cut breast it is. Whenever you're breading, you always wanna have a wet hand and a dry hand. So this is going to be my wet hand. I'll use that to pick up my thin cut breast and roll it around in the liquid a little bit. And then plop it into my bowl breadcrumbs and then use my dry hand to sort of toss the breadcrumbs over it and press them in. Since I usually make this with tenders instead of the thin cut breasts and there's a lot more surface area with these thin cut breasts, I might actually need more breadcrumbs and buttermilk than usual, but we'll just wait and see about that. Okay, almost done. See, I'm gonna be out of breadcrumbs here. That's okay, I'm gonna make it work. We're gonna call that good enough. Now I'm gonna slide this into a 425 degree oven for about 15 minutes. It's so fast, right? So the salad comes together just as fast as the chicken does, if not faster. We're just gonna chop up some romaine, toss it in a lemon parmesan vinaigrette, and we'll be done. But first, the proper way to chop and rinse your romaine. This is my good friend, the salad spinner. I'm gonna chop your romaine into, you know, like one inch strips. If you have any leaves that look a little brown or sad, just toss those out. You don't have to be precious about it, just chop it into bite-sized chunks. Then say goodbye to the core. Pop that into my salad spinner basin. After it's covered in cold water, you kind of swish it around with your hands a little bit. Then you pop it into the insert. Pour out the water. Pop on the lid, then give it a spin. This part is really fun for little chefs. Look at all that water that came out. We're gonna have beautiful dry lettuce. Obviously you can buy the already rinsed and chopped romaine, but it's not as good and it's more expensive. So I've had a helper join me. Okay, Calvin, step right over here. So we wanna use the... The big side or the little side? We wanna use the littlest holes. Okay. okay, and we need a lot. And while he's doing that, I'm going to zest and juice my lemon. Sure is an arm workout. About te two teaspoons of lemon zest, 
and about two teaspoons of lemon juice. I'm just gonna call that juice and zest of one lemon. So to that, I'm gonna add a few grinds of black pepper and three tablespoons of olive oil. So I'll just whisk that up. So the timer just went off for my chicken. It's looking golden brown and beautiful and it feels firm, so it's done. Just gonna set it aside. So to that we add a quarter cup or four tablespoons of freshly shredded Parmesan. My helper abandoned me. You can use the fresh shredded Parmesan that they sell at the grocery store. Anything that you would find in or near the cheese section is good. Not the stuff that's a stable cheese food. Mostly anti-caking agents. This is real cheese, we like real food. I'm not adding any salt to this because the cheese itself is pretty salty, but I'm still gonna taste for seasoning. I am gonna add some salt to it. Just toss in our lettuce. Use my trusty tongs to gently toss the greens in the dressing. So this quantity of dressing is enough for about two hearts of romaine. I'm gonna add some tomatoes and my breaded chicken and it's gonna be dinner time. Get it all plated up here. You can see why this is what we eat when we want something a little bit virtuous. And I'll put a polite bite onto the kids' plates and then just top it with my chicken. Et voila! It's so easy to make a delicious and nutritious dinner from scratch. Thank you so much for watching. If you try it at home, please let me know what you think of it down in the comments. And I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.